Well, hello again, and uh, welcome to the VK6CS uh, Fun with Amateur Radio channel. Now, uh, a few people have said, uh, you're not doing many videos these days, Steve. And I say, well, that's true, because I've not been doing anything that's been worth video recording. Did a bit of uh, mobile HF stuff um, last week, I think it was. So I put a couple of videos up for that. Um, people have asked me about the HF amp. And... Uh, I uh, I crashed through a lot of that HF amp. I did the um, the power board and the soft start and the airflow and uh, all that other stuff, as you, you may or may not know if you've seen the videos. Um, and then sort of ground to a halt. And uh, I think, like most people, you know, I have sort of bursts of inspiration and uh, enthusiasm. And uh, and then it wanes. And uh, I do a technical job, so um, you know, if I'm busy at work, the last thing I want to do really is play radio when I get home. So. Um, so we're doing uh, um, a lot of uh, frequency changing at the moment as part of the new ACMA band plan. So um, uh, I've uh, been quite uh, been quite busy uh, busy doing radio stuff at uh, at work. Um, okay, so I will uh, I'll try and uh, I'll try and get that finished off this year and uh, uh, get uh, get stuck back into it. Now. Um, the other day I bought a uh, I bought a, a coaxial switch and uh, I bought the one with the uh, SO239s on it as you can see that should be a good prop for a science fiction film wouldn't it that looks a bit like a sort of alien spacecraft sort of going off into the distance there yeah, maybe that should be a, a green screen I could put something interesting in the background um, it's die cast it's quite nicely made get a couple of screws with it so you can screw it to the wall in the shack um, and this is the uh, Aver Electronics AV SW2M. There we go. That's the uh, that's the packet. Now I got it because um, I just wanted to do a couple of a uh, couple of experiments that would, uh, well, you know, sort of compare receive on a couple of radios, um, and that that sort of thing. Now with this type of switch. Oh yeah, um, a couple of questions that I'd heard uh, recently, or people have asked me recently on the air is, with this type of switch, can you switch two radios to one antenna? Now, you can if you're doing uh, receive comparisons. So for example, I could put my um, 857 there and my 450 there and switch between the two and uh, you know listen to the same signal have an antenna coming in here just listen to the same signal and compare the two receivers but the port isolation uh, between the two ports when the um, uh, between the selected port and the non-selected port according to these specifications uh, insertion loss output port isolation there we go you might be able to read that I hope and it says it's Better than 70 dB. Doesn't say how much better. You know, it could be 70.05. Um, these specifications, by the way, are identical. They're for two different units. It says one is a. Um, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, I can't actually get because of the camera tripod. I can't actually get the. Um, I can't actually get the. Uh, oh, there we go. It says one is. An AV SW2M, which is a PL259 female, and the other one here is an AV SW2N, which is an SO239 female. This is actually incorrect. Uh, the one I have is this one here. This is actually an SO239, which is a PL259 female. This should be an N female. So, you know, you've got the M for the 259. And you have an N for the N connector because they make an identical one, but it's got uh, with N connectors on it instead of these SO239s or female to PL259s as they're calling them. So, okie dokie, well, where was I? Okay, so can you use it to switch two radios to one antenna? Only if you're doing receive comparison tests. You know, if you've got two radios connected to this switch, the port isolation is not sufficient enough that you could transmit with one radio while the other radio is still connected to the other port. So that was uh, that was one of the questions. So um, yeah, do not uh, you know you can have a radio on each port for receive comparison. Do not transmit with them. Um, 
much better for switching two antennas uh, to one radio and uh, um, you might have a vertical, you might have a you know, beam, you might have a uh, mag loop on one port and you might have a, a wire antenna on the other because remember a mag loop is very narrow bandwidth so you can't really tune up and up and down the band uh, with a mag loop because the, the bandwidth is so restricted that the attenuation outside of a very narrow band of frequencies will be such that you're not going to really hear much so for receiving you might want to switch to a wire antenna you tune along the band you find a QSO or someone calling CQ uh, then you switch to your, your mag uh, mag loop antenna and then tune that mag loop antenna for that frequency and that would be the way to do that um, so it would be, be useful for that um, as well now um, just quickly just getting back to the specifications it says the uh, insertion loss is better than 0 0.05 dB at DC to 500 megs that's where I'm going to be interested in using it and uh, port isolation we've covered so I was going to bring up the, <coughs> the Roden Schwartz and uh, I was going to test the uh, insertion loss you know from common to both ports and then I was going to test the isolation between you know the selected port and the non-selected port from here to the uh, selected port um, and then uh, for the insertion loss and then take it off of there and put it on there and just measure the isolation from there to there just to see how close to 70 dB it actually is um, it would have to be considerably better than 70 dB to actually be able to put a radio on each one and use them for transmitting um, okay now the other question someone asked me was when you select uh, one port or the other so that's obviously that port that's obviously the other one. So it hasn't got a great action this switch to be honest. I mean it's a nice die cast box and it actually feels quite heavy so it's, it feels like a good quality thing. You can certainly get hold of that quite easily. It would be nicer if this just snapped, you know, snap, 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 snap. It's got a bit of a... it's not, not got a great feel to it but uh, I think that's a minor, a minor whinge but uh, you know I'm a pom. I feel obliged to whinge about something. Right Okay, now the other question someone asked me was when, this, when you've got one port selected, so in this case this port selected does this one get shorted out, shorted to ground? I said I've got no idea. So let's measure it. Get the meter in here. Get the meter and the switch. That would be good, wouldn't it? Get the pan out of it maybe. Yep. There we go. Right, that's a bit better. Okay, so let's just check the probes. That looks good. So in there, let's first of all make sure our switch is not, or well, my switch is not short. So go like that. No, it's open circuit. And then, of course, you can't see the meter. So we go in there. Sort of negligible resistance through the switch contact. I mean, what was it with the probes touched together? Yeah, about the same. Okay, so now we go to this other port here. And no. Nah. So the dis the so the unused port, um, the terminals on the unused port are not shorted together. Yeah, you'd expect that to be short. Um, so I'll just make sure the other leg of it's working while I'm here. There we go. Yeah. And of course, it's not short to the outer. So that looks uh, that looks good. So that was the uh, that was the answer to a, uh, the answers to a couple of questions that uh, I've had this week. Pardon me. Uh, <coughs> can you use two radios uh, uh, and switch them to, to one antenna only if you're using them for receive do not transmit with them um, and when you select a port does the other port get shorted to deck and the answer is no it doesn't um, so this apparently works up to uh, oh, two gigs is it something like that um, DC to one gig they say but uh, 
I think if I was going to use it, use one of these on VHF and UHF, I'd get one with N connectors. Um, but uh, for um, um, uh, HF, which is all I'll be using this for, maybe six meters, uh, this is fine with the SO239s on it. Um, so that will do, that will do the job very nicely. And at the frequencies that I'm interested in, it says it can take two kilowatts. I mean, not that uh, heaven forbid I'd even consider using that sort of output power. Um, this switch would be okay. Um, certainly going to be okay for uh, you know 100 watts or so sort of thing. I'm going to be using it for. And uh, as I said, it feels you know, feels pretty robust. So so there we go. Um, that's the um, Avair Electronics AVSW2M uh, coaxial antenna switch. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found that uh, useful or interesting. And um, I'll uh, maybe catch you again.